Hi everyone, so what we're going to be doing today is building some terrain for Stargrave, which uh, was released a couple of, in the last couple of weeks. Um, some of the scenarios in the setups, they require, they require uh, rubble, so I'm going to build some, some rubble piles that we can use for this. Um, if we have a little look here, I think there's one. See if we can get some inspiration. Data Vault, I think outside the Data Vault <coughs> setup, you need. I'm going to be using a maximum three foot by three foot table, so it's just going to affect how big these are. Uh, da, 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 da. Grid, grid, da, da, da. outside should be filled. Yeah, so outside the area of the grid should be filled with rubble, either rocks or industrial debris. So that's the, the inspiration we're going to take from this. So what I've got. It is just a whole box full of 3D printing offcuts. I've also got this container over here, just full of 3D printing offcuts and supports. Loads of MDF stuff. We've got a chipboard in here as well, which you can pull apart. And then for the base of it, I want it to be quite lightweight. So I couldn't probably give it an MDF base or, or a hard base. We're going to use um, expanding foam. This is just from the pound shop. Uh, and, and then putting it on the baking paper, which should peel off, just to give us a lightweight rubble pile, basically, debris pile that we can use in, in loads of different situations. Um, so, yeah, let's get cracking. Also, if anyone's played Cyberpunk 2077, um, Right. Well, it might be. I think the world building is quite good. So under some of the, the highways and motorways there, you'll just find piles of, of rubble it's littered everywhere. That's kind of the inspiration I'm, I'm drawing on for this. So in terms of how big we want it, let me sketch something out for the Gorilla foam. Expanding foam. Um, how big are my buildings? So we're looking at about, that's a foot. So if I go for half a foot here, this is only rough by, let's give us a four, four by six foot plate. Foot plate. So we want something sort of like this. And then you can use that as cover. As I build it, I might see if we can build like some firing points so you can step up into it. Oh, there you are. I want this to be really quick so that we can just bang a load of these out, fill the table. Do ventilate when you do this, wear a mask or both. All right. Just leave that to expand. Right. I want to get some bits in so they dry into the bone. Let's pull. Let's pull some of these bits out. Look, this looks quite good. For these, I'm just I'm not being careful about it. Look, bits of MDF here. They look like girders. I don't know if this will hold. Oh. Nice. So now what we can do... <laughs> I don't know this will, if this will hold or if it's just going to all fall down. But let's see if we can get... These are obviously going to be metal. Bars. I mean, 
don't have to be too precious with this. Actually, that looks that looks a bit like a sign. I'm going to keep that for a billboard. This has just come off of here. Oh, look at that! It's even got awesome. There we are. Some road signs. What else we got? My offcuts. These bits are cool from uh, where uh, like weight saving circles have been cut out and you can get some interesting shapes so this if you imagine it when it's printed when it's painted metallic looks a little bit like a girder or a piece of metal i probably should have done that the other way because oh, it says wall bases on it oh well never mind maybe you can just say wall bases on it really. in there aha uh -huh. started to expand now it's got a bit of you can hold stuff slightly better get all of this in let's have some bits supporting others All right, I think I'll leave it there. I'll let it let it dry or expand. All right, okay, so with, this is about, uh, probably not even two hours after I filmed the, the first bit. And it's, we, it, it's essentially dry, on the outside at least. But to be fair, there's not much to give on the inside either. Um, some tips. So some tips for when it's dry and it started to bulge over. So you see these rounded bits here, which uh, uh, for me, I didn't like. I wanted it to be um, a wider base, sim slimmer at the top. So it's like rubbish has been piled up it just would look better so what i did is as it was dry and i was pinching bits in you can see perhaps this bit here i pinched it in it started to bulge bulge, bulge over so i pinched that in this bit here is pinched that in as well and it lifted it up and you just had to keep doing it because it would expand again slowly uh, but it would it, it would it wouldn't go back to the the full um uh, like overhang round position it was in before so as it was dry and I was just kept on pinching it just to, to make it more conical I guess kind of kind of there it's definitely wider at the bottom so now uh, I'm just going to attach a load more bits really build it up so I'll probably do a hyperlapse of this this video is probably getting long enough as it is um, so I'll do a hyperlapse of this and essentially all these bits here I've got in this big old box we're just going to stick them on. Um, I mean, we're, we're modelling rubbish at the end of the day. Don't have to be too precious about it um, until it uh, until it looks good. So I think hyperlapse. Right, here we are then. So as you see from the high collapses, I've just been chucking everything on there. Absolutely everything. So what I did off camera, well, first some things. So super glue, 
seem to work really well sticking bits to the foam I thought it would actually melt the foam but it doesn't it sticks stuff off quite well like this is stuck on with super glue and I'm able to lift the whole thing up that's brilliant that made things a lot easier I was able to stick all different types of plastic and 3d offcuts and everything on um, because of that uh, which was good just bear in mind the super glue seems to mix with the foam and hot damn is it uh, sticky I got my finger not like a little bit stuck like oh yeah I'll just get it off like genuinely stuck to the foam uh, so just be aware of that it's left a bit of residue on here um, it might cause some fumes as well there might be a chemical reaction there so just make sure you're doing it in a ventilated area and then off of camera what I did was I just poured drizzled uh, PVA just normal craft PVA over the whole thing just let it flow into wherever I did this outside so any drips or whatever just fell on the floor um, and then I grabbed cups of dirt from some work I've been doing in the garden so small gravel dirt whatever else is in there I chuck that over the top and then just let it fall off and it fell into the places where it did just to break up the texture of the foam because that doesn't really look like rubbish um, and then I went back over with ugh, stuck with play sand just like children's play sand and now you can see that it just looks like absolute trash which is perfect I've got a little wobbly bit on there which I need to stick down but it's kind of congealed up here so it looks like there's a bit of depth it doesn't just look like stuff's been stuck on and it's brand new it does look like there's some old stuff this is older because the dirt is on top of it this stuff is a bit newer because it sits on top of the dirt so I'm going to let that dry thoroughly and then I'm going to uh, spray it with a primer um, uh, yeah just to just to get it get it ready for, for painting. Paint job's not going to be amazing, really quick, because I want to be able to do this really quick. I'm going to spray it first with this stone effect uh, spray paint. Um, see how that gets on, just to give it a bit more texture. Then I'm going to go over with a bronze, just a cheap car paint bronze. And then I think I'm going to do a uh, hairspray and then take that off uh, sorry, then spray lead belcher and then take that back off just to to um, reveal the bronze underneath. I might use this sand texture gel from um, Galleria to give a rust effect to save on my typhus corrosion, which I will use, but I want to use it sparingly. And then for any touching up bits, I'll just use some Citadel paints, I think. And we'll see how we get on. Okay, so this is where we're at. Um, I put a clear coat of matte varnish on this just to help when I scrape off the... Um, the uh, well, I was going to use lead belcher and then scrape it back off after putting some hairspray on. But seeing as I live in the UK, it's rained for three days straight since then and we've had hail storm storms in, uh, in May, which is pretty much... Um, ruled that option out so i'm going back to painting it manually again i want it to be quick so i'm going to try using a sponge to dab them some just some craft silver um, and then if i need to i'm going to use some iron warriors and iron yeah iron warriors and, uh, and iron hand steel as well um yes yeah, so, so a bit of a hyperlapse i'm going to dry brush it on Bit stippling and, and see how we get on. Right, this is where we're at with it. <clears throat> okay, so. I um, pretty much made it up as I went along. So I started off with this, dabbed that on with the sponge, then went over with some Citadel, um, Iron Hand Steel, Iron Warriors, just to bring some stuff out. I wanted these plates to kind of feel like 
it could be military waste so I went over with a couple of greens I wasn't 100% happy with it it was the only piece of colour that I had on there um, and I was in two minds I could have just left it with the silver and it kind of gave the impression of rusted metal and if you looked at it it um, it was fine there was no detail on it but it was more of an impression which would be fine for a piece of terrain if you just want it in the background and you don't want to draw that much attention to it or that for it to be a highlight or you just want to do something quick that was absolutely fine but now that i put the color on i had to kind of go with it so then i went and added some red bits uh, and then i cut up some wire and introduced those again so that i had the colors back in there and i think that looks uh, i'm i'm much happier with that now uh, and then i let it dry and then I went over with a sponge with some uh, Citadel Riser Rust and just sponged that on all over the place. And I'm quite happy where I am with it now. While I was inside, I found this. This is just a, um, if you go to swimming pools, put it on your shoes so you can walk in, indoors. We had it because we had some work done. I think it kind of looks like tarpaulin. So what I'm going to do is just scrunch it up, get some creases in it that seem a bit better for this scale so get it really crinkled uh here we are and then i'm going to cut a piece out and then, whoop, and then lay it over the uh the pile of rubble like a piece of tarp that's just been caught in there I think this would work quite well for um, shanty towns, the like rooftops and things like that. Just get a rough, a rough rectangle. It's not a rectangle whatsoever. That's all right. There you are. And then let's just play around with this. See, yeah, I could stick that soak it and stick it on the top here just to look like a bit of tarpaulin I'll wind it in amongst the the metal see how that looks I wonder if I could soak it with PVA and almost get it look like it's blowing off or, or something um, but yeah we're pretty much there with it now what I'm thinking of doing is you could, um, because this is foam underneath, you could still drill into this. So you could drill in holes and then stick uh, candle lights underneath you know, um, the uh, electronic, they're called fairy candles, they're little candles. Stick them underneath so it looks like there's fire inside or you could wire in a red beacon so it looks like there's a beacon flashing. A red LED, so it looks like there's a beacon flashing. But yeah, essentially, essentially that is it finished. The rest of it would just be sort of messing around with bits of fluff that I want to add on to make it look better. But I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you get some use from it. I'm definitely going to use this on the tables. I've got a massive ship that I'm working on. So I think for the shipyard salvage crew job, this will go quite well with it. The ship painted similar and then piles of junk just around it to, to use as cover. Yeah, let me know what you think. Um, I'll see what else I'm going to build.